If you haven't checked me out yet on Instagram, head on over to Geekdom Big D on Instagram, where I post all kinds of different stuff that I'm interested in, like movies, Dragon Ball, of course, sports, and my adventures. And I hope to make you laugh too. Instagram.com slash Geekdom Big D. Let's get to the video. The rumor and innuendo in the world of Dragon Ball for the past couple weeks has been the future of the anime and the heavy rumor that's going to be coming back in 2023. We don't have dates on this yet or that much information on it. We don't know if it's going to be Sumitomo doing the music or Naoki Sato who did Superhero. We don't know if it's going to be Shintani or... Um, Kubota or who's going to be involved, Nagamine, but what I want to do today is give y'all my top 10 things I want from Dragon Ball Super when it returns to the series. This is my Dragon Ball Super wish list. Now, obviously, I have more than 10, right? I got a lot of ideas, but these are 10 things that I definitely want to see in Dragon Ball Super when it comes back. I wrote this down yesterday, so I'm going to be reading this to you guys and elaborating on the bullet points, okay? So number one, Longer pre-production schedule compared to DBS. That one's pretty much a given. What I mean by that is I want Toei Animation to have all hands on deck for this new anime. Dragon Ball Super was announced in April and went into pre-production in April back in 2015. And that's why Episode 5 looked so bad and why the animation was rushed and, and just very, very... Um, the, the production was a mess behind the scenes. This is not a secret anymore. It's been talked about, you know, by a lot of us. I talked about it. Anime AJ talked about it. Um, a lot of folks, even directors, have talked about how... It was a rush project. They got to take their time with this one. Take your time, plan things out, storyboard things out, so that way we don't get any terrible animated episodes. That, to me, is pretty much a given based on the timetable that I'm seeing with Dragon Ball Super and kind of what they're doing. Also, let's not forget, folks, that they did confirm a new movie coming out in a few years. So the next movie's already being talked about internally. Don't know anything about what it's going to be about. Hopefully it'll be after the end of Z because superheroes right there, like on the edge of it. So let's see. The next bullet point is if the Broly arc is adapted, should they choose to retell that story like what they did with Battle of Gods and Resurrection F for the first two arcs of Super, I want the full three-hour Toriyama script to be adapted and produced well. What do I mean by that? For those of you who don't know, the director of Dragon Ball Super Broly, Tatsuya Nagamine, talked about how uh, he, he got a script from Toriyama that was pretty much three hours of material. That's what he said. And they had to cut it up for the film because the movie's only about 100 and 120 minutes or something like that. No, 100, 100 minutes, 100 minutes. So two hours and, and some change. Uh, two and a half hours, a little more than that. So I want them to take all of that Toriyama wrote and adapt it if they do the Broly arc, if they do it. I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure if I want them to do it because Dragon Ball Super Broly looked so good. The animation was so crisp and beautiful that I can't see a TV version looking as good. Just like how Battle of Gods the movie looked better than Battle of Gods the Ark. But I want them to do it to where it makes sense and to where it's done well. Uh, number three, longer fights paced more like DBZ. I want... Dragon Ball Z strategic type of fights. Super gave us some of that. But now I want you to, not as much as you, I want you to understand though, I'm not saying I want it to be super slow. Like I don't want the five minutes on Namek from Frieza. I don't want that. But I would like it if they um, went back to slower strategic fights. If you go back and watch Dragon Ball and Z, you remember how a lot of the fights were like Goku or whoever's fighting strategically fighting his opponent and having different sort of segments of the fight, that's how I want it to go. That's how I would like Super Spice to be from now on because I do miss that style. Number four, Jocko the Galactic Patrolman TV special. So in case you don't know, Toriyama's return to manga was in 2013. He put out the Jocko manga and at the end of the Jocko manga is when they first did the, when he first re released the OVA Dragon Ball Minus. Well, it's not really an OVA. It's, it's a, a one shot. That's the word one shot. It's not, it's not, it's not animation. It's a one shot that first introduced Guinea. I would like it if they did a 45 minute or one hour special 
of Jocko. It's a fun little story. And honestly, that would be a way, because I love that Jocko manga was great. I would love it if they actually started with this. Because remember, if you start with the Jocko manga, Minus is in the back part of the book. You go from there and you segue into... You take that and you segue into the Broly story. Because if the Broly movie started with the Minus stuff, you could do the Jocko stuff, go into the Bardock and the end of the Saiyans and, you know, the death of Planet Vegeta, and then go into the Broly story. And it was sort of like flow. You know, and I would like it if they did it like that, if they're going to do it. Now, um, number five. The Moro arc, when it gets adapted, more backstory on Moro versus Grand Kai and the prisoners. We got a little bit of that in the manga. I want them to expound upon that and tell us more about Moro's backstory. The beginning of the Moro arc was great. We talked about this, guys. The first half of it I thought was great. So I would love it if they sort of gave us more backstory. This is how you use filler properly. I think a lot of anime fans don't really like filler and I kind of understand why you want things to be as close to the manga as possible but there's room here to tell more stories to flesh things out and to give us more context because Dragon Ball lore is great we don't get enough of it and I would love to know more number six Dragon Ball Super Slice of Life. I love the baseball episode of Super, the birthday episode. I, I like the episode with uh, Goku and Vegeta training with Beerus and Whis and how they had to do all those chores. Like Dragon Ball Super's filler and Slice of Life was some of the most fun stuff that Super produced. And I would love, love, love if they did that again. I think that the producers of Super were really good at it and I would love to see more of it when it comes back. Number seven, Planet Sadala. Nothing more needs to be said, bro. Everybody wants it. We've been talking about it for years. Give it to us already. Number eight, Tournament of Power 2. I did a whole video on this. I'll leave a link at the end of this video. Uh, uh, Tournament of Power 2. In other words, another universal tournament, but this time with the four universes that did not compete. And remember, Universe 7 is completely and utterly stacked right now compared to the first T.O.P. You've got Goku with a stronger mastered Ultra Instinct. You've got Ultra Ego Vegeta, right? You've got Broly who has unlimited potential, it seems. Crazy potential. He's, he's got incredible power. You've got Beast Gohan. You've got Piccolo with two new forms. Just those five dudes, not even including Granola and whoever else might compete for Universe 7, just those five dudes alone are going to be enough to really handle some people in the multiverse. So I would love to see a T.O.P. too. I want Jiren to come back. I want him to train. I want him to like be stronger. I would love, love, love if they did this again. It doesn't have to be the final arc, but I would love one more T.O.P. This time with different stakes. Have it not be about the universe getting destroyed. Change the story up a bit, but I want to see another like battle royale type of thing, but done even better. Number nine, go past the end of Z time, new God tier villain. All right, so Dragon Ball Super Superhero, the movie, is roughly a year or under a year. Let's say a year or 16 months before the end of Z, which is the last three episodes of DBZ that cover Goku meeting Oob and the 28th Tenkaichi Budokai tournament. That's the end of the manga. I want Super or Dragon Ball, whatever you want to call it, to go past that so that we get new stuff. Obviously, GT exists there, but GT's in a different continuity, different timeline. I want a Toriyama and a Kyoyoku driven new story after the end of Z with a god tier villain. At some point, guys, we've seen them rehash everything from Frieza to Cell. We've got like a new um, morals, like a demon. There's all these different, you know, um, like rehashes. You know, people come back, whatever, evil Goku. I want a villain who's going to challenge Beerus to like that level of villain, an evil god destruction, something like that. Like what they did with Zamasu, but not have him be a Kai, have him be like a god destruction or like a fallen angel or something. I want the multiverse to be in trouble. I want like the multiverse to actually, like, I want the grand priest to even be, and, and, and even be, have him involved. Something that raises the stakes of the whole series. We've been wanting this for years. 
We've been wanting to see Beerus go to full power since 2013. That's almost 10 years ago. I think we need to see it now. I think the time has come, man. They have tickled our taints long enough about this. You know what I'm saying? And then last but not least, and this is only a top 10. There's a lot more. Last but not least, focus on next generation Goku, Vegeta, and mentor role. Shift the story to a new group. So they're going to have to eventually do this. Nozawa is old, and uh, she's still in good shape, but... Anything could happen. The voice actors, like the cast of Dragon Ball, we lost the voices of Bulma and of, of Kai Osama, the narrator, King Kai. Both of them passed away. The only one left from that first episode of Dragon Ball is Nozawa. I think that the time has come now to begin the next generation, maybe led by Gohan or even like Pan or whatever with Oob and uh, the Universe Six Saiyans. We need a new generation of heroes. You don't even have to call it Super at that point. You can change the name of the show to like Dragon Ball Next Gen or whatever, whatever you want to call it. That is what I want. I want Goku and Vegeta to slowly shift into like Jedi Master Mode where they're training people and eventually they, we shift the story to them. Because let me tell you right now, I don't believe that Japan has a replacement for Nozawa yet. I don't think they do, and she could pass away at any point, you know what I mean? Uh, and I'm not saying I, I don't want it to happen, bro. I, I, that lady, we all love her, and it would be catastrophic to Dragon Ball if she did, but um, I think that what they got to do is, is move on to the next generation. Like, move on to, like, Pan and, and Goten Trunks and really put the focus on them. I would love that. So that's it. That's my top 10 things I want from Super. Feel free to leave a comment. Tell me your top 10. Leave a like. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.